So, but if one promoter who I work to, they come and say, I offer to, I offer to you 150 to 200 million, I fight tomorrow. Canelo Alvarez recently caused a stir by agreeing to fight David Benavides for $150 to $200 million. Benavides then contacted Saudi sports and entertainment minister Turkey Alal to arrange the bout. However, Benavides received a more enticing offer than the one to face Canelo. All right, so David Benavides reaching out to Turkey al -Ashik. He's like, I got you, bro, and you can take the winner between Be Bilbo and Benavides. Canelo Alvarez doing that, that shit, I'm telling you, that's the past. The Floyd Mayweather effect is the past, bro. David Benavides facing Canelo seems improbable now, with Canelo geared up to fight Jamie Mangia on May 4th. Leonard Eller, Mayweather promotion CEO, has shared his predictions for the bout. Given this fight, how, how do you see it with Jaime? Does Jaime have a, a, a good shot uh, at uh, beating Canelo? No. No, not no. at all. No, he's getting knocked out. He's getting knocked out? He's getting knocked out. David Benavides continues his pursuit of a fight with Canelo. But what are his thoughts on this potential matchup? Stay tuned as we delve into it in this video. Canelo Alvarez caused a stir in a recent interview by setting a high price for fighting David Benavides. Criticism has mounted against Canelo for avoiding this matchup with the Mexican contender. Benavides has been eager for the fight as Canelo's mandatory challenger for over a year. However, Canelo's demand of $150 to $200 million for the bout with Benavides has raised eyebrows. So, but if one promoter who I work to, they come and say, I offer to, I offer to you 150 to 200 million, I fight tomorrow. In a discussion with Hub TV, Canelo defended his demand by stating that, considering his career achievements, he no longer feels compelled to prove himself against anyone. I'd only contemplate facing him if a promoter puts forth an offer of $150 to $200 million. In an interview with Fight Hub TV, Canelo mentioned his demand, but clarified that he hasn't received any offers meeting it yet. David Benavides promptly responded on Instagram, questioning Canelo's high asking price for a fight against someone he views as having no value. Benavides expressed a hope that the money might help Canelo find worth. Canelo, if I'm worthless, why demand $150 million to fight me? Hopefully, after you earn that money, you'll have enough left over to buy a few balls," remarked the Mexican. Canelo's staggering demand has ignited fervent discussions among sports enthusiasts and boxing fans, highlighting the shifting dynamics of fight negotiations in today's boxing scene. At the center of the debate is Canelo's insistence on meeting his financial terms to validate the fight's significance. This reflects a strategic move, leveraging his status as a top boxing draw to secure a purse exceeding previous standards. Canelo's stance implies that Benavides offers little beyond a potential edge on fight night, emphasizing the need for financial compensation commensurate with the risks involved. Opinions on Canelo's demand vary, with some admiring his business savvy in maximizing earnings while others criticize what they view as unrealistic expectations and a diva-like demeanor that could hinder potential matchups. Mike Tyson's suggestion for Canelo to face Benavides, rather than opting for what seems like an easier opponent, such as Jamie Mungia, reflects a broader desire among boxing elites and fans for high-stakes fights that define legacies. Meanwhile, fans have taken to social media to express their disappointment with the Mexican superstar. Canelo's stance also reveals broader implications for sports economics in boxing. Unlike many other sports, boxing lacks a standardized pay scale with fighters' negotiation skills and the perceived value of the matchup heavily influencing purses. Canelo's demand could set a precedent for future negotiations, potentially increasing payouts for top-tier fighters and complicating the process of arranging significant fights. Additionally, this situation highlights the growing influence of external financiers like Turkey's Alal Sheikh, whose investment in marquee boxing events could reshape how fights are funded and promoted, according to reports. Benavides sought out Turkey Alal Sheikh for funding to make this fight happen. All right, so David Benavides reaching out to Turkey Alal Sheikh. He's like, I got you, bro. And you can take the winner between Be Bilbo and Better Be it. Canelo Alvarez doing that, that shit. I'm telling you, that's the past. The Floyd Mayweather effect is the past, bro. As the chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of Saudi Arabia, Alal Sheikh has gained prominence for his significant resources and interest in hosting major sporting events in the Middle East. 
His involvement highlights boxing's global reach, where geopolitical lines blur in the pursuit of big fights. David Benavides' proactive move to approach Alal Sheikh aimed to capitalize on Saudi Arabia's history of funding extravagant events, hoping to make the fight with Canelo a reality. Aware of recent boxing extravaganzas in Saudi Arabia, which drew global attention, Benavides saw Alal Sheikh as a potential supporter for Canelo's demand for $200 million. However, Alal Sheikh's response differed from expectations, declining to finance the proposed bout. Instead, Alal Sheikh suggested backing a fight between Benavides and the winner of another match, which could still disrupt boxing's hierarchy. ALS Sheikh is avoiding Canelo's steep financial demands while championing the essence of competitive sport over extravagant paydays. This shift prioritizes the integrity and thrill of boxing over star power and record-breaking earnings. Alal Sheikh's decision showcases the careful considerations in high-level boxing promotions, balancing financial viability, fan interest, and the sport's long-term impact. His involvement underscores the significant influence of external investors in shaping the boxing landscape. Meanwhile, the originally scheduled match with Jamie Mungia remains on the calendar, holding its own significance within the boxing community despite the buzz surrounding a potential Canelo Benavides bout. Lanard Ellerb's recent remarks on Fight Hub TV reflect a sentiment shared by many in the boxing world. The upcoming bout against Haim Mangia remains an exciting prospect, embodying the competitive essence and entertainment value that fans crave. Mangia, a strong contender in his own right, adds an intriguing dynamic to the narrative, challenging Canelo's dominance. Despite his relative youth and lesser experience at the top level compared to Canelo, Mangia brings an unbeaten record, a hunger for success, and a fighting style that promises to test boxing's reigning superstar. This clash isn't merely a placeholder, but a showcase of the sport's unpredictability and the ongoing pursuit of younger fighters to challenge established champions. Given this fight, how, how do you see it with Jaime? Does Jaime have a, a, a good shot uh, at uh, beating Canelo? No. No, not no. at all? No, he's getting knocked out. He's getting knocked out? He's getting knocked out. Ellerb's confidence in Canelo's ability to secure a knockout victory not only shows Canelo's track record of success against top-tier opponents, but also highlights his meticulous preparation and strategic expertise, which define his career. Canelo's superior experience and skills, honed through diverse and challenging fights, make him a formidable opponent for Mangia. However, the unpredictability of boxing adds an extra layer of excitement to the match, as outcomes are never guaranteed. The fight's continuation amid ongoing speculation and negotiations elsewhere reveals the complex world of professional boxing, where fights are about both the narratives they create and the physical contests for fans. The Canelo vs. Mangia bout remains an intriguing chapter in Canelo's career, blending tactical brilliance, raw power, and the possibility of an upset. This fight sheds light on the broader implications for both fighters' future paths. For Canelo, it's a chance to solidify his legacy, while for Mangia, it's an opportunity to climb the ranks by taking on a revered figure in boxing. As the bout nears, excitement grows not just for the fight itself, but also for what it symbolizes in their careers. What do you think about Canelo demanding $200 million to fight David Benavides? Also, what are your predictions for Canelo's upcoming match against Jamie Mangia? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.